may be an act. We'll proceed. My Lords, I, um, I signed uh, amendment, um, or rather the, um, the intention to oppose the question at Clause 4 stand part of the bill. And I don't often say anything good about this government, but it does at times really think outside the box. It really does think up novel practices and novel moves in all sorts of areas. And in this bill, I admire massively the people who've, who've gone through and put amendments. Sometimes I have time to do that myself on bills. But uh, I, it, this, this particular clause is so bad. How can we improve it? And I would say there are two particularly dangerous proposals, which we've already heard. Uh, the first is that the court won't be able to pause or prevent a deportation, even where that deportation will be clearly unlawful. And secondly, that the government can, by diktat, declare a person's human rights as inadmissible. Where does that come from? Who thought that up? Just incredibly creative. But... As it's novel practice, it's also dangerous because you're setting a precedent that the government can simply rule that some people don't have any human rights and that a government can act unlawfully without any intervention from the courts. And human rights are for everyone. That's something this government seems to forget. Or they aren't human rights. And the courts must be allowed to protect those rights against the government. So we have to stop this legal bill. So I see no option but to start voting out chunks of it. And if we can possibly intervene at the end, vote all of it down. And my Lord, sir, I have uh, put 